OK, in this video, we're going to have a quick look at microphone technique. OK, so we've got our microphone here. Now, this is a large diaphragm studio condenser type microphone. This one here is a Neumann uh, U87. Now, this microphone has a choice of pickup pattern. And at the moment, it's set to what they call cardioid. So at the moment, this microphone is picking up the sound in a sort of heart shape in front of the microphone here like that. But this microphone can also be set to what they call figure of eight, where it would pick up the microphone signal, sorry, it would pick up the sound from in front of the microphone here, but also the same from the other side. So it's quite good if you've got one voice here and then one voice reading over there. Um, and it can also be set to omni, where it would record the sound all the way around the microphone. So quite good for a sort of group uh, recording. But for sort of voicing in front of the microphone like this, on my own like this, I would have this microphone set to cardioid. So I've also got this pop shield, which I'm just going to put there back. Now this is to stop the um, plosives when you say words like popping. If you put your hand in front of your mouth like we did before and say popping, you can feel that blast of air. And that's to stop that blast of air hitting the diaphragm and, make, and, and ruining the recording. So I have this pop shield about an inch and a half, two inches off the microphone. But it's not critical, um, whatever works for you. OK, so then there's the question of where do we position ourselves to voice? Do we go here? Is it here? Is it here? Well, one way to look at it is to think of the diaphragm inside this microphone as someone's ear. So, for example, if you wanted to be more intense, more intimate, um, you could imagine yourself sort of whispering something in someone's ear. You would speak in a, in a sort of quieter voice, um, in a very controlled fashion. So for example, something like, um, I can't believe what they're doing over there. Or if it was um, a, a line in a commercial, something like, this car will change your life forever. Now, when you get this close to the mic, you have to bear in mind that it becomes much, much more sensitive to any changes in volume and tone. So you have to be careful that you don't blast, as they say, and distort the signal. So you have to control your voice. So you're, in a way, you're speaking in a quieter voice, but there's more intensity. Um, and also, you have to bear in mind that when you're this close, that the microphone is more sensitive to any movements in your head. So if you move your head laterally and you quite quickly come off axis, and then the microphone won't be picking you up. Then there's the opposite of that, which is a more, if you wanted a more conversational, a more natural, more relaxed um, sort of uh, uh, recording. So, for example, if it was like a radio drama or a, a conversation in a commercial where, say, for example, um, man has to speak to another man over the garden fence. So you would position yourselves perhaps an arm's length away from the microphone and you would be, if you were saying something like, um, Jeff, hey, Jeff, yeah, how you, how's it going? All oh, right. OK, good, good, good. And then at this sort of length, the microphone is much less sensitive to movements in your head. It's much less sensitive to changes in volume and tone. Um, so you get a, it's a much more natural feel to move away from the microphone. If you try and do that same sort of script right up here, it's never going to sound, sound right. But then there's everything else in between. But for sort of commercials and corporate type reads, I tend to be, um, you know, straight reads, I tend to be about, I don't know, six, eight, ten inches off the microphone, that sort of area, around about here. But it's different for everyone, depends on your mic, depends on your voicing technique and your voice. Um, um, it's just worth experimenting and finding the... Um, the place that suits you. And it's also worth experimenting with those other positions to see what the effect it has on the recording. So that's a bit on microphone technique. Have a, have a play with it and uh, I'll see you on the next video.